Right, here we go. Yep. And we lead off with World 3. And one thing I neglected to mention is the pipes in this game are randomized. So they will take you from point A to point B, but you don't know where point B is. And today, it's taking them straight to the World 3 airship. And just to drive the point home, it's the vanilla World 3 airship. So this is the kind of fast seed that you really hope for. Yeah, we could always see a uh, non-vanilla Wendy, though. That is true. The The Koopa kids uh, are randomized in terms of their attributes and abilities. Um, so Wendy, well, she's going to need more than three hits today. That's four. It's the full five. Oh, no. Oh, both, wow. Both of them take a death. Chuck, yeah. that's, that's unfortunate because he was one hit away. And yeah, it's neither... tough thing about uh about the airship being the first thing you do is you don't have any power ups. Right. So when you when you do start with World Three out of the box, you're almost kind of hoping you know get me out of here, you know, with a couple of power ups you know under my belt. But uh, no such luck this time. So. Yeah, it's even worse when uh that one item box on the ship is a star too. Right. Then Shuck. you got nothing. And Chuck gets through and finishes in 90 seconds. Oh! Rat takes another unfortunate death here. Mistimed her jump. Yeah, and I think I think Wendy's a pretty big gatekeeper in this uh in this race or in this uh series of races that is. Yeah, especially when she's got the ability to shake the ground. That makes it even worse. Because yeah, it can't it's... happen. No. Oh, another unfortunate death. No. World <laughs> 2 is the second world. And Chuck is going to have to play this through. And the and now our first actual level today is 2-5. I think he tried to use his anchor on the lock just in case it was a hammer. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's incredibly unlikely because in this version of the randomizer it tends to be the frog suit, but... You know, you got nothing to lose. Might as well give it a go. So. Yeah, you might as well. I think it ended up just being a regular mushroom, though, which is a very disappointing uh, randomized yeah. anchor item. So, 2-2 two, two is 4-6. A lot of stars. Oh, Wendy's not given anything. Like... Between the rings and her jumping, Rat's got almost no r room to maneuver. So, Chuck finishes 4-6, uh, moves on to the first fortress of the game, which, oh, which is the first uh, fortress of World 4. Takes a death there. Yeah. Wendy was the bane of our existence in vanilla. It's even worse now in randomizer. Yeah, it can be really tough to deal with her little rings there. Especially... Um, oh no. Yeah. can take a game over. Sometimes you just gotta wait, like, yeah. really far away from her and just wait for a time when she's not near her hoops. Right. The... The uh, chat is collectively shaking their heads and asking for mercy from Wendy, but uh, there She's is a no harsh mistress. Yes, she is. Five. I think the only mercy is that uh, she is, you know, shaking the ground, but she's done just about everything else. Two three is uh, five seven. Um. Pretty short level, uh, nothing too difficult, uh, good enemy placement. I bet he take- I'm pretty sure he's gonna take a five up here. This time, uh, Rat has a mushroom getting into the fight here, so I think we're gonna see finally a- Uh-oh. Uh, fight. Yeah, she, uh... Oh. Oh no. Oh no. The rings and Wendy are moving in unison. That's not- okay. She, she got away from him. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Good yep, movement. Yep, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. We okay, got it. she's through. 
had to take a lot of time to do it, but it's uh, uh it's worthwhile to take your time and get her uh, dead. And a grateful nation rejoices. Chuck, meanwhile, gets through 3-4, which I believe is the quicksand level. So, yeah, he's got a nice little lead here from uh from the windy hiccup. He, he's sitting on about a three-minute lead. 2-4 is 7-1, which is known for the skip through the uh, wall here. Uh, clip through the wall and spare yourself from having to go through the uh, pipe tunnel. He's having a little trouble timing uh, his jumps here. Yeah, most of them seem like they're actually a little bit late. Um, yeah. And that one that was a bit early, though. Yeah, that's like... You can do it perfectly, though, and still not make it through if your subpixel isn't correct. So you have to, yeah. like... You have to do it perfectly enough times that the game allows you to be okay and get through Right. Yeah. Can be very frustrating for some players. Yeah, what is it like? Twenty-five times before it, uh, you start losing time. Thereabouts. It's about twenty-five times before you start losing time to somebody who went through basically right. perfectly. Yeah. So, realistically, I think it's even more. Yeah. He's not. He's dedicated to this. He is not giving in. Yeah, well, no matter how many times you fail it, it's still faster to try again than to do yeah. the level. Well, he's, he finally had enough and decided, okay, I'm just gonna go through this level legit. He's got the fire- he's got fire, Mario, so that should make it pretty easy. Allow him to get through those pesky piranha plants and uh, a few other obstacles. The little flying Goombas can actually be super trolly in this type of level because yeah. they're not usually there and they float down in just weird ways. Yeah. So he got pretty nice. lucky that he got through without any real yeah. problems. Nice uh, jump there by uh, Chuck to get out the final uh, corridor. Rat uh, moving through the, uh, through the tunnel. And we got a we got a coin ship in World Two, and Chuck goes for the quick kill. Oh yeah! Who and a hammer? That's going to be very important in this run. And ham and hammers uh, not only break boulders, they break locks in this version of the randomizer. So it is vital to have a couple of hammers on hand if you can, because they will allow you to skip major chunks of World One, Two. Four, five, and six. If depending on the uh, pipe draw, yeah. Rat picks, pipe, rat picks up her uh, hammer, and uh, the pyramid was one one. She's actually doing the early hammer strategy. Okay, well, considering where she got it, I, that makes sense. Uh, allows her to skip uh, two, th skip three levels, so. She's drawing about even right now, but Chuck's still got the uh, hammer in hand. Considering the amount of time he spent on the 7-1 level, yeah. um, she's, this is actually a pretty good uh, speed up. Right. Because uh, that was an above average length level, and she skipped three. Yeah. So the World 2 airship is the World 6 uh, airship. And... Uh, and he gets to fight Morton on level ground, and he's going for the fire kill and got it. He got it right as he lost the power up. Yeah. So that little detour in uh, in the seven one level has significantly narrowed the gap. Plus, uh, Rat using her hammer hammer early to bypass the second half of World Two. So it's much closer than it was uh, five, a few minutes ago. She is going to run into the problem, though, that she does not have the hammer anymore, and Chuck does. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see Chuck extend his lead at some point. Yeah. Although there's also always the chance that, you know, there's just a sh stupid number of hammers in this seed, and that it never actually becomes a problem. That's certainly possible, and we'll see early on here in World 5 if it does become an issue with the two Hammer Brothers. Uh, so 5-1... 
leads off with, uh, 3-6. Uh, an auto-scroller level, and all the auto-scrollers in this, in this randomizer, with two exceptions, are turned off. So, airships and most of the, uh, levels that you normally would have to wait for the camera to move on, uh, you get to just run through. Now, 2-1 is 5-2, and, uh... This level is actually notorious for uh, boss bass uh, sightings. Not today. Yeah, boss bass can turn any regular level into a near Kaizo level. Yeah. Especially 2-1, uh, it seems like, because people always go for that power-up. So, Chuck is actually skipping um, the end card game. Well, he might just think that, you know, he's got his hammer... Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he can take some risks right now. He's got a cloud, too. And he might also be thinking, well, that 7-1 was a real mess, so no point uh, wasting time. Yeah, a lot of people start making... taking riskier positions when they think they're behind. Yeah. So, Chuck is in our first lost level of the game. Uh, when they uh, created the randomizer... when they uh, found several uh, lost levels, or unfinished beta levels, in this game. So... And this is one of them, it's a 1-5 beta. A pretty short level. Mustard is informing me in chat that he never does end cards. Yeah, it's, that's some people's choice. Yeah, you know, a, couple, a couple of players are like that. Um... He and Skybills are probably the most notable among the ones who really don't go for the uh, end cards. And there's some validity to that. It is a bit of a time sink. Even if you know all the patterns, you're still, you're still spending about 45-50 seconds. And there's, and there's no guarantee you're going to get what you want. Yeah, you don't know what items those uh, cards actually match yeah. to. It may well say a flower, but that doesn't mean it's a flower. I think there are 12 possible items in the game, and the end card has a possibility of giving you six different... No, five. Something like that, yeah. So you have a five in a in 12 chance that you've got a hammer in your end card somewhere. There's Boss Bass, but, in for but luckily for uh, Chuck, he's in a position where he really can't do a significant amount of damage. I heard you almost say unfortunately. <laughs> Well, you know, <laughs> a, a Freudian slip. <laughs> I like the uh, the people in this part where they uh, they always do the jump in case they have the flying Goomba, so that they can get yeah. immediately up the cloud without the uh, vine. Chuck with that hammer is, is skipping uh, three levels outright and moving on to the second fortress, which is the World Four Fortress Two which I find to have a preponderance of hot foot. We are seeing yeah. right there. Most of these forts and castles do seem to have a high degree of hot feet. And it's yeah. probably because there's actually two different hot feets. Right. So it looks like there's even more. One acts like the, uh, the booze who will chase you when you have your back turned, and then you have the ones that just do whatever they feel like. Yeah, they so. just move on the RNG. No problem for Chuck with, um... Uh, for the fortress, and he picks up a music box. Trouble. Yeah, the music box is less useful in this format since so many good things come from the Hammer Bros, but they do come in handy in World 7 when you get, or um, some of the later stages. Yeah, if you're trying to just get through the, the world, it is it does come in handy to have it. So Rad, who does not have uh, the, uh, the, bo the, uh, the, uh, the the Hammer, um, has to go through f these levels, and 5-4 is another lost level, um, a beta version of what would eventually become 7-3. I mean, speaking of World 7, Chuck is in 7-4, which is another auto-scrolling level, but this time it's turned off, so he can just fly through this. Yeah, the yeah. level is actually a very pleasant swim when mm. you uh, take off the auto-scrolling. Yeah. So long, there can be some trolly uh, enemies here and there, but uh, nothing too awful. 
We're at 5-5 uh, five, five is uh, the third hand level. Uh, I had a little trouble with the cheeps there. Yeah, a little bit of a panic jump. Yeah, and another one. So, while Chuck is in 1-5, which can be a slight pain just because you don't uh, get the benefit of um, uh, just sliding down as you please because of the enemies you encounter. This, uh, this world was big for the tunnel lovers out there. Mm -hmm. Anybody who has the MFP tunnel emote. Yeah. Fan that up for the... So, see what item we get out of the hand levels, because it'll be the same one for all three. And it's a uh, raccoon leap, just like in the uh, regular game. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chuck, uh, moving on to the World 4 airship, which is much shorter because of the auto-scroller being turned off. Ooh, the power-up is just a star, which, once that runs out, it's uh, it's pretty useless to have instead of a regular power-up. Yeah, unfortunately, the, the star does not kill in uh, this game. It just gives you a few extra seconds. But Rat uh, is in 5-7, I think that was, and she goes to 6-1. She also picked up a hammer suit, which will come handy later, if she, even when she gets to the... Uh, the ball to Bowser. Yeah, and the hammer suit has a lot of other uses too. Like, uh, if you just put on the hammer suit in like World Six, where there's a ton of uh, forts, then you can also get a lot of quick Oof. boom boom kills. So you have options. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, Rad takes another uh, death there on the Hammer Bros. Got a little uh, got into close quarters with them. So World Four is next, and unfortunately. Uh, Cannot use, uh, it's not have a hammer, so we can't skip unless you get something out of this end card. No dice, so he's not using the, uh, well, he hasn't been tr uh, doing the end card at all, so he didn't have any information, right? To try and so, get an item. So, one, so four one is one three, which is another level that tends to be stunted for its uh, speedrun strategies because of the enemy placements. But, uh, he's gonna skip the item. Yes, the item still exists in, uh, 1-3, but, uh, it's not a, it's not a whistle. But it's, it's, it usually is something pretty nice, though, my experience. Yeah, it can be anything. Rat, rat's chasing that mushroom. Uh... I think she was considering going back, but given the placement, she decided not to. Uh, 4-2 is 6-5, which is somewhat notorious in the vanilla game because it's one of two levels where you absolutely have to have the ability to fly to complete the level, the other being uh, the first fortress of World 7. Unless you clip out in that room there. Yeah, well, that's... oh no. Having a little trouble there, he's gonna have to go again. Or no, he's gonna go and get that power up the other side. Ooh, good choice. Good Luckily idea. He was elite. Well, it usually is. So let's see what item place. Mm, should be able to make that work. Yeah, he does. Like the shell getting stuck in the. Yeah. In the wall. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice little back slap there. Uh, as the uh, um, Koopa came back. And yeah, Chuck's got some accurate tail wags. Mm-hmm. So, Rad taking the rare but always entertaining low route uh, through 1-5 to complete it. Yeah, you can get a power-up down there, so it's a good place to go if you're small Mario when you get there. Yeah. Not too hard to get to. Another coin ship, this time it's a star. Getting a lot of value out of this. 4-3 is 4-3! We have vanilla! <laughs> That happened earlier, didn't it? Uh, did it? I think 4-3 was 4-3 earlier, too. Could have been. It's, uh... Maybe in one of the other races. I know 6-4 in the race earlier today was 6-4. Rat just making it to the music box that we saw Chuck get about right. four or five minutes ago. Yeah, she's almost done with World 3. Shouldn't, uh, I mean World 5. It's her third world. Shouldn't have too much trouble, especially as Fire Mario, but we'll see. Yeah, Chuck really extended the lead when he used the hammer in that in that world. 
Yeah, it was, it was one of those things where, yeah. She... Okay, we're gonna have some frog strats here. Fortunately, uh, doing it in a fortress that is not really kn that is known for being difficult enough as it is with its jumping. Oh, second fortress of world five, and rat finishes at about twenty minutes on the nose. So she's about four minutes behind based on the time of when they completed their last level or the last the last worlds. So. Not insurmountable. Not insurmountable, especially if uh, she gets lucky on the end card game or something like that, since Chuck right. has mostly abandoned it. Yeah, oh, well. he, did, he did it the one time, I think just out of expediency more than anything. It was there, and it was kind of a backtrack anyways. I think well, he, he, was also, he was forced to. He actually yeah, had to do it. Right, I think he, he was also probably, although he had to do it, I'm sure he was hoping, like, well, if I get a hammer out of this, it's a total win. I, yeah, I think... I think personally, if I was forced to do one end card, and I already had some information from it, that yeah. I would just go ahead and do the next one that I got. Exactly. That's my strategy. Uh, no luck for uh, Rat on her uh, end card, and Chuck picks up a uh, Lakitu Cloud from uh, the first tank level, 4-4. Four, four. That's a good pickup. Mm -hmm. And going take just a quick kill on... Uh, the hammer brother, or the giant hammer brother. He's gonna go for. He's gonna hit, hit the trifecta. Uh, fire bros. Ugh. Having a fire suit though makes them pretty manageable. Yeah. It's one of the only ways they are manageable. Yeah. So four five is six four. Ooh. Unfortunate hit there, and nice. Uh, Sequence skip, and he's gonna just fly through this. Yeah, it was such a cool little duck under the first guy, but then there was another one. Yeah. So, Rat uh, going through uh, 6 5 right now. Oh, she fares. The second fortress. Oh dear. Ooh, same, second port. Same hit. Yeah. The Chuck took. Se yeah, the second fortress of World 4 is the second fortress in World 6. The Ice Fortress. Not There's some nice, there's some pretty cool skips you can do, but uh, generally that world is a pain. Or that yeah. level is a pain. Yeah. yeah. She's gonna use... Uh... No problem. Yeah, and that probably is faster than uh, jumping down with just the tail and wagging everything to death. Yeah. It's also safer in case you do get those uh, little uh, whatever they are as your enemy down there. It's rare, but it happens. Or if there's a fire snake in your way on the way up. Exactly. Those can be scary. Or a mini Goomba, which happened to somebody uh, in another race. Ooh. Chuck got backed yeah. into a corner and took a hit. And Iggy's got... Uh, He's dropping the hammer in, in the airship, but gets through it just fine. Chuck so, wishes he had a hammer. Yeah. So he's comfortably ahead. He's gone through. He's halfway through this at 23:20. So, depending on how nice World Six and Seven are, he could be on pace to for a sub 50. Yeah. At this point, I'd be a little bit worried. Um at not having a hammer for World 7 or 8. Um, yeah. It's usually good to have one for those level, those worlds specifically, because there's always the shot that yeah. you can skip a very large portion of the world. Sarby had that chance in the race earlier today. He didn't take it. So... That's it. Okay, I thought... I Chuck, uh, deciding to play the percentages, he's gonna skip 7-2. Ooh, dangerous fire. choice. Well... He comes back to it either way. Uh, he get he gets two chances at this, so and one of them will at least take him to a place with more pipe. Establish that much, and they both go to the the South Island. Well, the first one the first one took him to the North Island, but it's, oh. it, he's backed in a corner. He's got to do seven six and uh, the fortress. So. 
if the uh, yeah. if the way was after the level one. Well, wouldn't surprise me if it was, but uh, seven six at least is a pretty short level. Uh, the first hand level of uh, World Eight. I'm just gonna give him another leaf. Yep. All the hand levels give you the same item, uh, right. no matter what. Oh. No vanilla, that'd have, been, that'd have been pretty wild. But it gets the third fortress of World 6. And... A lot of precise jumps and movement in this one. But, uh, makes it look, makes it look easy. Rat, meanwhile, was trying her hand at the, uh, frog strats, uh... A little trouble there, but seems to have found a rhythm. Yeah, I think people are always shocked a little bit when they use the um, frog suit, just for how fast it accelerates in the air. It's mm. really bizarre movement, in a way. Well, it's like, if, you, if you're... Oh, an unfortunate death there. Well, mm. it's also, how, how often do you even use uh, the uh, the frog suit in a speed run? Almost never. Some it's, people haven't used it in years. Yeah, I'm one of them. And, uh, the music box pays off. It takes him to 7 8. 7 8 is 1 6. Yeah, and, and without it, hammers, that was the. That was the one place that they needed to go. It's the only, right. it's the only pipe that's going to lead them out of this world. Exactly. Oh, another Ooh. unfortunate death. Tank. Yeah, and that's one of those tricky hitboxes, too. It doesn't actually look like it should hit you because you're standing on top of it and the uh, bomb comes out, but it spawns kind of inside of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shuck's seven. not taking the safe route here. He is taking the slightly more dangerous yeah. leaping method. He's a pretty accomplished speedrunner, so I'm not surprised he's going uh, this route. So 7-9 is 8-2, which... Can be tricky, and but he makes it look so easy. He took the dangerous jump too. Yeah, because oh. there's an there's an enemy there that can spawn into something else. I just saw Rat's got a cloud. She might want to consider using that. I, get, I know she might want to save it, but this level's been giving her fits for a while now. Yeah, I know a lot of people are just uh, bent on using their clouds for auto scrollers, but. There's some Which, levels where if you're having trouble, just go ahead and yeah, get through it. 7-5, so, for example, is one, you know, it's like, yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chuck uh, finishes uh, the super tank level. No problem there. He's going to take the piranha plant this time. Yeah, I like the piranha plant levels. They're, they uh... They, they give you an item, they're short? Yeah, they more often than not tend to yield fruit, as this one did with a P-Wing. He goes for the clip at the end, but doesn't get it. Yeah, it's alright. So... World 7 airship for Ludwig is the World 2 airship. A pretty short one. Good it is challenge. kind of a, a downer, though, because you can't do P-Speed strats on it, thanks to those boxes you have to go down through. Right, yeah. Two hits for uh, Ludwig, and he is out. And that's yeah, a pretty severely nerfed Ludwig. Yeah, Chuck beating along very nicely. Five worlds down at twenty-eight thirty. Very good. Yeah, the only way that radioactive could get a very lucky is if. Suddenly there was an end card, there was a hammer in there, and let's say the pipe after level one went to the port. That would be a pretty huge catch catch up. That would be that would be something. We don't we didn't see which pipe that was. So no, we, or no, which one goes to the to the fort pipe, so it's possible. Unfortunately for Chuck, he's gonna have to play World Six uh regular, uh the pipe takes him to uh the one behind uh Huh. <laughs> well, that that's no surprise. Takes the intentional death on 5-9, uh, one of the two auto-scrollers. And those Hammer Brothers are taking an awfully long time to shuffle, but... Yeah, that was concerning. Especially after seeing the, uh, the post in the Discord today about the infinite moving Hammer Bros. 
Yeah. Ah. Ooh, that was very close for Radioactive Rat. She uh, stopped herself on the ice just in time to not fall to her death. Chuck uh, got seven sixes as his reward, but manages to pull off the clip just fine. Ironically, doing the harder clip with the raccoon suit. Yeah. The one that he had trouble with earlier. Uh, kind of redemption in a way. Uh, he's going for the Hammer Brother. Yeah, this is the state, the air, the time when a lot of people kind of stop doing Hammer Bros. But yeah, it's a, it's a 15 second time sink, but uh, you got a you got a lack of two cloud out of it, so it's a fair trade. But uh, yeah, it's um, a good good uh, good pickup. He's, he's really probably wishing he had a hammer right now because he's gone into the uh, Fortress of Death. At least it wasn't in the uh, first port of the game again. That's been happening a lot recently. <laughs> I've been fortunate in that regard, but uh, I can you I usually can finish Fortress without too much trouble. It's a lot. It's never. It's just never fast. That hot foot is always there. Yeah. Or at least Rat, one of the hot feet. Rat takes care of Iggy uh, at about thirty fifty, so she, based on time completion, is about seven and a half minutes behind Chuck. Chuck got pretty lucky with the. Uh the type of hot feet that he got in that one area, the one yeah. we had to duck slide under. Mm -hmm. If it had been the erratically moving ones, then he might have had to wait there a lot longer. Yeah. Uh. And those guys are really just... Okay, that's why. They're right on top of each other. 6-4 is 2-2. Two, two. Another pretty short level. Nothing too outrageous here, though the enemies you see in the water can be a very strange assortment. Yes, the the blooper there, whenever there's a blooper, you almost always see somebody take a death there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really difficult to get by. Yeah, seven... If you look at the diagonal it's covering, it's covering the whole water. Oh. Rat decided to go to 7-1 and it was 7-9. The sun was waiting for her, but she managed to get rid of it pretty quickly. So, okay, so going to... Wow, Chuck used a mushroom house to get an item. Um, well, he doesn't have a lot of items to play with, unfortunately. A lot of uh, stars and uh, Lakitu Cloud, and I think a music box, so he's actually uh, surprisingly poor when it comes to items. Yeah, I was just, uh, I was, I'm surprised, especially with the option of doing the end card, since he should know yeah. where what four of the cards on the end card are now. 7-2 mm. uh, was 7-9, I apologize, I thought it was 7-1. Um, so Rat, uh, playing the odds a little bit here, uh, what's she gonna do? So far taking a no, similar she... path as Chuck, except no, without she... use of a cloud. Yeah, she went to 7-5, which is 3-8, and Vanilla Boss Bass. Much to the rejoice of all of our uh, viewers, I am sure. Oh yeah, the viewers love the Boss Bass. Chuck gets through 4-4, four, four, no problem. Known for uh, Lakitu trolliness and other things. Let's see if he's still gonna go for the hammer rose, it looks like. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, it'll stop them from shuffling all over the place. It's a music box. That's, uh, he could use that to stop them from shuffling as well. That's the goal. He's gonna take another mushroom house, too. I guess he's, uh, he realized earlier that, um, you know, having an item in your inventory can come yeah. in handy. And like I said, he's, he's got a lot of stars in his inventory. So... I'm not surprised he's still going for the hammer for the uh, hammer bros. Generous mushroom there. Radioactive rats in six in seven three, which is six eight, which is another level really difficult because of the enemy random enemy placements. Yep, and uh, I noticed before going into the into this level that um, radioactive rat has also abandoned taking end cards. Yeah, and. Chuck, I think, is trying to kill himself here, but yeah, he is, because 
having a little bit of a of a time with that. So six seven is seven five. He's gonna skip that, power up before going into the fortress, and it's a good one. First fortress of world seven. The other level you need to fly to get out of here. Yeah, and conveniently he had the Tanuki suit already. If you have right. to get a Tanuki suit, you have to hit a P switch and wait for a whole bunch of coins to turn back into coins. Yeah. Um, from blocks. Using some uh, statue swag to uh, close it out. Really short uh, fortress. So. 6 8 is the second hand level, which is the shortest of the three and the easiest. Yeah, um. Radioactive Rat did the, um, did the other Muncher level, which actually led to that one, uh, pipe after yeah. 7-1. Um, we know where it is, so I'm just gonna have to go through the, uh, fortress, finish it out, and 6-8 is 1-2. Uh, that will give her one more cloud, though, uh, since Chuck did not do that level. Right. He's still hasn't picked up a hammer, so he's not going to be able to speed through uh, World 1, Final World in play. Yeah, thankfully though, World 1 is short, no matter if you have a hammer or not. Right, instead of playing two levels and the airship, he has to play... Four levels four, and four, four. Le four levels of fort and the airship, so not a huge thing, unless you get some really bad levels. Well, at least uh, the worst fort has already been taken off the list. And the second, and some think it's the second worst uh, Chuck is playing right now. Yep, and uh, seven five is off the list already. Yeah, a lot of uh, good stuff already taken off. I actually kind of like having stars here because you can just kind of do that. Yeah, <laughs> trying to speed his way through that, no dice. Uh... Yeah, you gotta time it pretty well if you're gonna yeah try to clip for speed through spikes and he's almost cleared up world six here yeah the ice world okay. world one airship the only one left in play is I believe uh Ludwigs yeah, haven't done world seven oh no. Lemmy can be a, can be a little tr tricky just because usually he's on a flat surface, but and those hitboxes, ball the hitboxes on the balls that bounce around can be really nasty if they want to be. Yeah, plus the general animation of a Koopa Kid coming out of his spinning state on the ground mm. take people off guard because you can be perfectly above them pixel-wise, until they yeah. stand up, and then yeah. you're inside of them. Right. Uh-oh. Almost, almost took a hit there, and uh, got a little thrown out of position. Waited out, and it's a five-hit Lemmy, but uh, the last two he got inside uh, kill zone, so he didn't have any trouble. Yeah, and thankfully this was not one of the arenas where it's super uh, multi-leveled, because mm -hmm. then he goes underground. Right. Well, generally, in my experience, when that does happen, it does tend to be pretty generous overall. So, he's six worlds down at about 38.30 thereabouts. It took about ten minutes to get through world six. Yep. And, uh, Radioactive yep. Rat gets her P-Wing for doing the other Muncher level. Yep. So... Good choice by uh, Chuck on uh, the frog suit. Gets a uh, 3-1 as uh, the opening level of World 1. Frog Mario looks so funny. Yeah. We got a big Bertha. Haven't seen her recently. Yeah. Oh, and Ludwig, Ludwig is down. Um... Uh... Finishes at about 39.30. So, yeah, she's about 11, 10, 11 minutes behind. Yep, a whole world six. 
which is yeah. probably the longest world uh, when you don't have that early skip. Right. It it's is. About a one in three. Yeah, it is. It's uh, ten, ten numbered levels and three fortresses. And but Chuck's got his own problems now. He's got that sun, and he's had to fight off a uh, mini Goomba there. Yeah, the sun can be oh. oddly <laughs> hard to deal with right there. As we just as was just illustrated. So no uh, no hammer for rats. So she's got to do this the hard way as well. I don't think she has any clouds either. Uh, she's got a cloud from the muncher. That's right, I forgot. So... Oof! Oh. Chuck gets hit by the sun again. He needs higher SPF. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, well... Yeah, I see a lot of people, if they get into this level, um, you can pick up a Koopa shell and grab an item. Uh, that was the idea anyways, but uh, got a little caught there. There he goes. Yeah, luckily this time the shell killed the sun. Which is really weird, I don't think a shell should be able to kill a sun. Well... You try throwing a shell into our sun, and it's just gonna melt. <laughs> Magical powers or something, I don't know. Magical Koopa shells? Yeah, it could be. So, and it's a vanilla World 1 Fortress. Yeah, and you can uh, get the whistle here, which can be any item, but you're not guaranteed to have a leaf in this last item box, so. Oh, but he gets it, so he's going to be able to get an item. Use the speed strats to a great effect there, and he gets a fire flower for his trouble. You know, a fire flower's still good. Put one on before a nice fort. Get a fire kill on your boom boom. Yeah. Pyramid uh, in one five and Plymy is the chat is talking about Nintendo Lodge. He's like, do we really want to get into the logic of a Mario game, especially this one? Yeah. Uh, we could be here all night. <laughs> The uh, radioactive rat having to take the long route through 7 1. Or is this uh, the seven, other one? Six. This is 7 6. Yeah. You wish it was 7 1. I haven't doesn't seen it... either of them in years, so. Yeah. Uh, she uh, doesn't have a P Wing? I thought she did. Oh, well, she probably didn't know this level was coming up, so. Yeah. Well, the more we. Thank, inten... Thank God for intentional deaths. But, uh, gets through it and gets a 5 up as a reward. Meanwhile, Chuck speeds through, uh, 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, almost an exact, uh, vanilla speedrun route. Pretty close. Once he got that head of steam, he just zoomed through it. Radioactive rat has hit the, uh... Fortress of Death, yes. Yeah. Nice, uh, navigation there through the, uh, the pipes. Or the fireballs, but uh, oh. takes the one up and then gives it right back. Yeah, that's a shame. It's a shame that, that, that that's a one up at all, because, you know. Yeah, it's like. Give gonna, them something they can use. Use the time honored method of our forefathers and P Wing. <laughs> Although there's a. Yeah, there's a wall here, so it has to drop. Ah. Oh! That's well, unfortunate. I think, yeah, I think she's got another one if she wants to use it. Sometimes when you uh, get hit with a P-Wing, you get, like, one more, like, ascension before you, uh, before you start falling. I was hoping... Right. Well, for all that, for all of uh, the tribulations uh, Chuck had to go through, it's a one-hit kill for Larry. So he finishes World 7 at about 44.05. So sub-50, depending on the pipe placement, uh, World 8 is possible. He's gonna need a good pipe draw. Boy, that just sounds all sorts of wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, well. The pipe draw in World 8 can be very... Man, um... these uh, piranha plants are relentless. They're going back and forth. <laughs> and he got a Lakitu cloud as his final uh, item before going into World 8. 
Yeah, the lack of two clouds, though, in World 8 can only get you through those two levels, though, correct? And the fort. You can use it on the fort. Ah, true, but if, uh, if you need to check the pipe... Yeah, uh, it to the lock, you have to do it anyways. Yeah, it depends, but it has its uses. Yeah. Uh, eight one was five six. Another auto scroller. Mm. Rat, Looks take like the radioactive play. rat got through the fort. Yeah, played it safe there with uh bo with boom boom. We got a, in the chat radioactive rat in the fortress of doom. Yeah, that sounds like a good story for your kids. I'd pay money to see that. Oof. Through a fortress of doom and then killed by a common block. Yeah, isn't that always the way? Uh, the navy level is the second fortress of World 2. I like how this fort just bothers people for sheerly being an un incapable of being a fast level. <laughs> yeah, like, well, there you go, Chuck uh, mistimed. Uh, his, his swimming and uh, lost his fire flower. I, I never found this uh, fort to be all that all that awful. I usually get through it pretty cleanly. Yeah, I don't really have a tr trouble getting through it. It's just uh, it's it bothers you when you're trying to go fast that you're stuck right. in something that's so slow. A lot of the end game forts have been taken care of already. So look at how many stars and clouds Radioactive Rat has. No, you, you mean Incredible. Chuck. No, Radio Rat has a lot of them. Oh, yeah, I, I know. Oh, yeah, I thought you were talking about Chuck had his menu open. So, 8 1 is 3 9. Woo! That was uh, some good sledge killing. Yeah. More stars. Both in water levels right now. So. Yeah. You gotta take you gotta take the symmetry whenever you can. <laughs> Especially when they're a world and a half apart. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to make this uh level that radioactive rat in faster, but um Yeah. They take some lack of two manipulation, which is not exactly common knowledge. Alright. A two is three five, another underwater level. A lot of water recently. Yeah. Whew. Oh, and he takes a hit from the jelly. That was quasi intentional. I think he's just trying to get through this. Bertha got yeah. a hit. Ooh, the one frame jump. Yeah. Seven five. Looks like she's gonna go through it. Not gonna. Ooh. Close. Real close. And uh oh. Oh, you're kidding! The impossible minion to not take damage from. Yeah. If it's a um, nipper or the other thing that you saw right next to it, yeah. either one of those things there can ruin that level for you. Yeah, she, she's not wasting her time. She's going right through and did not take any power ups. But this is a fortress where you don't have to. Yeah, you're gonna instantly get the- well, not instantly, but you have a cleared path to getting a Tanuki suit, so... So the World 8 Fortress is, uh, the Air Force. Gonna this take his time, avoid all the wrenches. Yeah, this is one, uh... This is one where you really... Like, the auto-scrolling really messes people up because they're used to it in such a way, and the auto-scrolling is really fast. And luckily, um, when you take out the auto-scroller, I think that the most common way of death there is when the you don't kill one of the wrench throwers, mm. and they throw one backwards at you. Right. So Chuck gets to uh, Bowser, and the second and the second to last level is the Navy, so he uh, completes the trifecta. Yeah, it's interesting how that's worked out a lot. Yeah, I have noticed that too, where that one of the last... The second to last level is often one of three uh, military uh, levels from World 8. Or the first world... First Fortress in World 6, I see that a lot. Huh. So, yeah, it's interesting how we can find patterns in a randomizer. Well... Oh, he went for the clip. There was no clip for him. 
No. So no sub-50 today for uh, Chuck, but uh, he's well on his way to at least like a 5130. And I guess he never got a hammer suit. I thought he did. I just I guess he figures I got Fire Mario, I'm fine. So I know, I'm sure he knows how to do the quick kill on that on Bowser that way too. Yeah, it just seems like a weird yeah, time loss for yeah. if you know you have the the suit, unless he just forgot. Maybe. But it's 35 uh, fireballs versus five hammers, no problem. He's got this covered. <laughs> Yeah, if you're good at spamming, that's not too long. He's killed the Bowser. So, that will do it for Chuck. And he has officially dot done with an official SRL time of 50.42. Very nicely done from Chuck, who completes Group K at 3-0. and Very impressive. He gets to join that uh, small but illustrious group of uh, three and O players. I don't count as illustrious, so that's a shame. Yeah, you seem nice enough. Yeah, well, that's nothing to do with being illustrious. <laughs> Rat trying to do the speed strats uh, didn't quite get it to work. Yeah, it can be yeah. tough to get there. See in time. Chuck, Chuck wants to come in for an interview. Ooh. What's up, oh. Chuck? Hey, what's up, guys? I was, about to I was about to send you a message about uh, this. So, uh, GG, uh, congrats on finishing 3-0. Thank you. Yeah, great job. Thank you. Felt great. How'd you feel about the seed? Uh, it was one of the tougher ones I've seen, I, I'd have to say. Um, i trying to think of specific moments. Well, you know, you start off with uh, Wendy right out of the box, no items, and five hit Wendy, no less. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was nasty. Yeah, um, no power-ups, really, to, to fall back on. Uh-uh. The uh, the sun flying around two three was uh, yeah was pretty rough. That's not the first time I've seen that. That does tend to be somewhat common. That's a bad spot to have a sun. Yeah, it's like and the only way you can really get around it is what you did is uh, time the shell to not get rid of him. I'm trying to think of something else. Um... It was a very uh, low hammer. Yes, did I have one or two? I, I feel like it was maybe just one. I think it yeah. was one. Yeah. Uh, you, fair you amount. Fair... Different places. Yeah, she, yeah. She used hers uh, in World Two because she got an early draw from the Hammer Brothers, so she skipped uh, the second half of World Two. Mm -hmm. Whereas you um, used it later uh, for World Four, I believe. No, World Five. I'm sorry, you used it for World Five. Ah, yep, yep. And that was the only hammer we ever saw. Yeah. yeah. Fair amount of Lakitu clouds, but, uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Hammer's a surprising low abundance. I think that's my third or fourth seed in a row without a hammer suit, too. You didn't yeah. have one. We, we were wondering about that, because Radioactive Red does have hammer suits, but I think she also indulged in the end card game, and you only did it once. Yeah. Yeah, I've decided that's... I think it, it for me it can, it can just waste more time than than gain. Right. Like, unless you get that perfect draw, then otherwise it, it can. Uh, yeah. Can be a real time sink. Rat. Yeah. Uh, I was a little surprised though that after you had gotten one in card that you were forced to play, <laughs> that you didn't use the information from that one to continue to do it because then you've got at least four things to look at. That's true. I it it briefly crossed my mind to jump back into another one, but I just decided to just keep keep pushing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, especially when you were uh, get, taking those mushroom houses in World 6, because mm -hmm. uh, you had the option of doing the mushroom clouds, or the mushroom houses, or doing the end card. Rat, oh, Rat missed out on uh, getting rid of the sun there. 
Yeah, but amazingly, just completely avoided it. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty slippery sun. So, yeah, so, Rat, uh, is almost at the halfway point of World 7 here. Uh, she, uh, actually took a game over in World 1. Uh, well, the, not World 1, uh, with Wendy. Oh. Had no, had no luck at all with, uh, some of, uh, the rings and her jumping around. She got boxed in a couple of times. Yeah, if you can time it right, you can just keep one ring on the screen and and bop her as soon as she pops her head up. Yeah, that, that's I've tried that. That's really tight, though. Yeah. Yeah, and if you uh if you do that for a couple, and she's like a five hitter, uh -huh. the second you don't get a perfect hit, she just throws out two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, it get, then it gets nasty, and she's jumping up to the ceiling. Yeah, I find right. that interaction very strange. <laughs> Oh. I've I've just personally had a lot of experience with with that. Yeah, R running the main game for years now. Right. So you 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 know more or less what to expect already. So not very much is going to surprise you unless you get into something really weird like that uh, two three sun situation. Otherwise, it was pretty yeah. smooth. It was pretty smooth sailing for you. Yeah. I, I... I had a couple of good guesses on uh, power-ups. I used the uh, the Tanuki right before going into the the seven, the yeah the uh, the uh, sky the the the, the, the brick fort, the coin <laughs> castle. Or yeah. Coin um, so I thought that was that was a good guess, and then I used the uh, the frog suit right before the the three one level. Yeah. Um, we, just figured, we just figured you wanted to show off some frog swag and just happened. To <laughs> oh, and. Gosh, when I I got to seven one, and I must have gotten sub pixeled out a dozen times before I just gave up and had to enter the level. I mean, I was hitting it in the right spot over and over and over, and it just kept pushing me back out to clip yeah. through the wall there. Yeah. And then I get it in seven six with a with a tail on third try or something. It's like, okay, how's that? Work? Yeah. It was uh, the redemption. Go... <laughs> Mario Mario three logic for you. Yeah. There is, there is none. I was pretty happy with how I played. Yeah. It's like no yeah, no no real outright mistakes. I mean Wendy is Wendy, you know, you do what are you gonna do? But after other than that and the two three uh situation, yeah, it was pretty clean all the way around for you. Yeah, yeah. So I guess now that you've done three uh, matches in this tournament, I guess what has surprised you the most about the randomizer overall? I mean, I'm sure you played it a lot. But what's kind of surprised you the most? Uh, as far as surprises, it seems like mm, it seems like World Eight is never straightforward. I haven't gotten an easy World Eight in, yeah. yet. Yet, it's funny. I think I've gotten three or four easy World Threes in a row. Yeah, couldn't leave when I got another one tonight. But yeah, World, World 8 always gives me the runaround. Every yeah, time. I find there's kind of a logic behind it. Like if World 3 is easy, then 7 and 8 are going to be nasty. If 7 is easy, then 3 is going to be nasty. Yeah, I was happy with how I got through 7 relatively quickly. Didn't have to play too many levels before getting to the right side. Right. Um, so... not, too, not too bad overall. Ooh. Radioactive Rat uh, on her way uh, to World 8. Finished World 7 in about 57.50 thereabouts. So, could be a... Depending on how this goes, could be a 70-minute uh, uh, speed run. Oof. Not with that. Yeah, the note blocks have interesting interactions in Mario 3 if you're used to another Mario game. Why she didn't go for the P wing. That's true, and her inventory is pretty uh pretty stacked at the moment. I think lots of options. Still a lot of clouds. Uh, I don't remember if uh if you needed or if the clouds were useful for the route that takes you to the Bowser Castle. It, it is because you got to go through eight yeah. one. You got to go through eight I, one eight two and the fortress, but you need to beat the fortress to actually um, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I actually had one left over. I'd, I didn't use it for whatever reason. Yeah. I was gonna use it on the fort, but then 
I figured, okay, it's probably under the in the pipe underneath the fort lock, so I just played the fort anyway. Yeah. And I think that that was the that was the one. Yeah. Plus, yeah. whenever you play the fort there, it's like I'm getting two levels for one level, and it just right. feels good anyways. Yeah. Rat. Uh, opting not to go across the bridge. Good choice. Not gonna lead her anywhere. Yeah, I wonder where that pipe actually went. Probably, if if I've got it in, correct in my head, it would have taken her to the top of that map uh, with the lock. So it probably would have led somewhere, but probably not where she needed to go. And you run, and you're basically playing with loaded dice with those uh, three hands. Yeah, they could be to backtrack them. Right, and they could be anything. Especially since I believe all three hand levels were in fact played by by by, by both runners. So yeah, I believe so. I, I didn't see the third hand. It was uh, yeah. it was in World Five where you skipped with a hammer. Yeah, oh, okay. it was like it was like five five I think. And uh, interestingly enough, y'all got the vanilla items from those hands. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I think in the uh, run earlier today, I think it was Music Box, if I remember right. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna check my. Yeah, all three were played. So uh, it's not enough to have one Music Box. Mm. No, you have to have all three. I had one seed where they were hammers. That was really nice. Chat. Gimmick Soldier uh, confirming it was 5-5. Five, five. That's what I thought. Thank you. So... Well, well, I've got to run. Uh, thanks for hosting and commentating. Oh, no problem. Yeah. Uh, congrats again on 3-0. Uh, and o. See you in the bracket round. Alright, sounds great. Thanks for the Have performance. Fun. Thank you. All Have right. a good night. Alright, thanks. Good night. We're uh, definitely going to stick around here for the uh, the finale to Radioactive Rat's run. Mm -hmm. uh, she's going to go ahead and cloud over. Uh, not going to find anything in this pipe, unfortunately. No. But uh, hopefully takes the fort. It's only three levels away if uh, she plays her cards right. Yeah, I would imagine. Okay. Oh, and that's kind of nice. Well, that helps yeah. her at least eliminate the other options. Yeah. So, so she's gonna go. Th gonna give it a shot and go through this as small Mario. Certainly doable. It's a real pain. There's a lot of precise jumping. Yeah. Um, I find that the most people uh, get killed by jumping and landing and then getting a wrench immediately thrown in their face. Um, yeah, it's usually right after that that first big uh, airship when you're making the drop. That's usually where I have trouble. And a lot of people fall off of one of the um, the platforms when they are taking a hit from like a third stage power up. Yeah, or mm -hmm. when I'm when I'm trying to run and then the hammer brother pops up and kind of throws my momentum off and I go straight down the tubes. That that's happened more than once. It can be tough. Rat going to take the correct pipe and be on her way to Bowser. Oh, screen. No clouds are going to work here, even though she's got three. Yeah. It's like, That's a shame. Yeah, almost enough to go through and double back. Well, not really double back. She could have she could have skipped 8-1 and 8-2. She could have also skipped the fortress, even though it wouldn't have been expedient to do so. Yeah. I think she did skip... 8-2. She did skip 8-2 after trying it out. So, yeah. yeah. She died like two-thirds of the way through three fives. Like, nope, not doing this. <laughs> and got the money bag. So, should be about 106, I think. Somewhere in there. Plays. Two hammer suits. Yeah, and she's got, and she's got the star, so she'll cleanly get through this. Yeah, I've been uh, taking the door down there and just clipping through 
because it's like at least then you assure that you keep your hammer bro suit, but it can be longer. Yeah, I, I'm not very good at the clipping. I'm good at the clipping she's doing now, uh, but uh, that clip uh, in that one corridor, I'm not very good at it. So uh, I don't really have any problem taking the long way. It's not a big deal. So oh, a little, yeah. little bit of a lag there, but. Uh, I've been burned by that first laser guy right there. Yeah, that's why, whenever possible, I always try and hope to have a hammer suit and a star. Up close, and takes Maybe care of business, and she is through. Uh, it's actually going to be a little faster than the prediction since... uh. I don't think it accounted for the hammer suit. Finishes with an official SRL time of actually 105.46. So, the GG to uh, Radioactive Rat. Yeah, great job, Radioactive. Yeah. She's for an interview. <laughs> okay. Got word. Uh, okay, she'll be coming in a minute. Neat. Yeah, guys in chat, make sure to uh, follow these runners. Um, yeah, so, yeah, give both of them a follow if you haven't already. Yeah, they're great. And people. We'll, and hell, follow us if you want. I mean, we can't. <laughs> we probably won't be as interesting as uh, these two runners, but uh, give us a follow too if you. While we're waiting, we'll go ahead and thank you know Big John for setting up this tournament. It's been a uh, been really great working with him to get to keep all this running. Yeah, um, it's been a little uh, chaotic at times, but no, it's all come together very nicely overall. Yeah, I think it's actually been remarkably smooth um, yeah. from other tournaments I've seen run. Yeah, this is my first actual tournament, so I really have no point of reference. Just what I see on. Uh, Know, in rate in uh, on speed gaming, but uh, no, it's gone very well, and the uh, community's done a great job uh, staying active and you know chipping and chipping in whenever possible. I and mean, you stepped in; that was great. Okay, welcome, radioactive rat GG on the run. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so, so your first tournament run tonight. Uh, what were your impressions overall? Um, I had some colorful language for Wendy, first of all, because, <laughs> well... <laughs> yeah. <you know. laughs> Already you said we continue in the first five minutes, I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> well, we, we've all been there, right? We've all taken a game over at the early Wendy's, so, you know, and, you know, Chuck had some trouble too, but, you know, you just got really bad uh, AI placement and ring placement. Oh my god, I want to destroy it so badly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, five hits is just killer for that. For yeah, that. yeah. Good. Good thing she didn't have Earthquake, though. If she had that, I'd be like, oh, well, I'm the forfeit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like... You know, chat saying, Wendy is a noun. Yes, she is. But, <laughs> so, after that, I mean, you know, it was, a, it was surprisingly, a, it was a hammerless seed except for that one you both got early and you used it you got because of where you got it you were able to actually close within a minute after world two and then just you had to go through the uh back half of uh world five and you got some nasty levels there yeah those levels are not fun <laughs> no 
we got probably the hardest uh, hand stage, and uh, one of the one of the others was uh, pretty uh, pretty rough for you, as I as I recall. Yeah, yeah, it was, and um, I know I got one of levels where you clip through the wall, and it's like I don't know how to do clips, so I'm just gonna go through it. There's no enemies, so I was like, um, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> seven, yeah, seven, six. Uh, yeah, unless you have a, unless you pee wing over the wall, uh, or you know how to clip, yeah, you gotta go through it legit. Yeah, I always forget which one you can fly over. I can never remember. It's seven six. Yeah, okay. it's, it's the one where you have to go down into the little nook to get uh, into the door. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like six nine and seven six are the ones you can fly over. Well, six uh, nine you six nine you can wall jump. It's just. Wall jumping is a very specific timing. Yeah, but uh, so something for next time, perhaps. But you know, overall, you know, it, there were some trouble spots for both of you. Um, you know, it's just one of those things, right? Exactly. So, is there uh, anything specific you're gonna practice before your next match? Um, I would say the clipping, but I really don't know how to do that too well. Um. I don't know, I'll just practice a bunch of random seeds. I did it earlier. One seed I saw flocked in. Yay. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, we've been seeing, we've been getting reports of that, and and that thing where you uh, in seven, that seven five, that luckily doesn't quite technically count as a soft lock. But that's grotesquely unfair. It'd be a soft yeah. lock if it were level one. <laughs> it would be a oh soft God. lock. But yeah, like that's not fair. Both of you uh, took a lack of two cloud over that one, and rightfully so. That makes sense, though. So. Yeah, it's like unless like seven five is one of those levels where unless you absolutely have to play it, you don't. Yeah. Uh, so. This seed was actually very generous uh, with the clouds, so. Yeah, like whatever they weren't, whatever it wasn't doling out in, uh, hammers, it certainly made up for it in clouds because you had a couple left over. So did Chuck. It's like, man, boy, if you guys had just used a few more of them, you know, you probably could have shaved another two or three minutes off, but you never know, especially with yeah. these seeds. Uh, anything else for the group uh, before we let you go? Um, not really. Uh, congrats to Chuck for winning. Yeah. So, I knew I was going to get my butt whooped, so, you know, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> it's for fun. <laughs> right. We got two more matches, so who knows? Maybe we get a maybe we get like a group L and we have a three way tie for second. Um, anything, uh... <laughs> anything, anything to keep it going. That's sure. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, doing the commentary actually on the three way races. There's a lot of hype for those. Yeah, the the one we had a few days ago didn't uh, disappoint. It came down pretty close to the wire. Oh wow. Uh, with Paradox. Uh, Rallying, he had an 0-2 start and Storm back and one took second place in the group. So if we get more of those, I'm all for it. <laughs> so what we're saying is we're rooting for you in at least one of your matches. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I think I've got. I think I'm commentating on one of your other matches this weekend. So I'll be, see you again. Yeah, my other one is Sunday, and then I have to play on one more. Yeah. yeah, there's plenty of time. So. Yeah. Well, thanks thanks again for uh, joining us, uh, GG, and uh, good luck on uh, your future matches. Yep. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. All right. All right. So with that, uh, we will say good night to you all. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we have more matches uh, up. Let's see. Take a look at the schedule here. Uh, we have a, uh, a smorgasbord of uh, matches tomorrow. At, uh, we, channels have yet to be determined, but at 7.30 Eastern, we have a Group D match between uh, Big Zeef and uh, Zarby89, two of my cohorts from uh, Group D. Uh, at 9 o'clock Eastern, we have a four-way match. Uh, the first one will be uh, Your Majesty and uh, the Sea Wolf 1 getting a Group A started. 
And we also have uh, Lasso and Duck Fist from Group E playing. So we got a four, we got four, we got double the fun tomorrow. And at 11 Eastern, we have uh, another uh, Group A match. Uh, Your Majesty is uh, not wasting time. He will play Duke Firebird. So gonna get plenty of uh, Mario 3 action tomorrow night, guys. Fortunately, I'll be I'll miss most of it because I got other stuff going on. But uh, I, nothing else. We get to see some new competitors in the tournament, and we'll get to see uh, what they uh, can bring to the table. I'm looking forward to it. For sure, looking forward to seeing it tomorrow. All right. Well, I think that's it for us. Uh, have a good night and uh, keep watching. Yep. Good night, guys.